Hello guys, welcome to my another review video. Today I've got a brushed model. It's from Ishin. It's M80S. It's tiny hoop style quadcopter, but a little bit bigger. And in this box it's ready to fly set. So we've got a transmitter, quadcopter, uh, one battery. It's HV 500 mAh, one cell battery, the USB charger and the screwdriver. That's all in this box. Let's start with the transmitter. There is a power button. We can change the flight modes with this button. Also the speed with this one. There is a button for the flips. Also the trimming buttons and the gimbals. About the gimbals, they are pretty cheap. So nothing, nothing uh, with a good quality. It's pretty good to handle this radio. And about the quadcopter, uh, there are uh, 8520 motors, the propellers are 44 millimeters. There is a camera with VTX, it's 25 milliwatts and 48 channels. Linear antenna, and that's pretty all. The flight controller is something no name, I cannot find it on the internet, so I don't know if it's F4 or anything else. It hasn't got the OSD, and I already took the canopy off, and as you can see, there is a LED which shows you the state of the battery so you can see if it's charged that's green color if it's orange it's uh, almost discharged and when it's red you should land because the battery is discharged about the frame it's pretty solid and it's a little bit bigger than a standard hoop frame as you can see and one thing which I like on this frame uh, you can easily change the channel by pressing the canopy here. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a button and I can press it without taking off the canopy. That's a great option. Bad point of this frame is the place for the battery because it does not handle there. It can easily move while you flying, so that's not good. Uh, I would put some double-sided tape or anything else to secure the battery. In the instructions we can find that it should have 6 minutes of flight time. I don't believe it. I think it will be something between 3 and 5 minutes. It's not going to fly 6 minutes, but we will see that. About the charger, it's simply a USB charger, so it's for HB batteries. You just plug in the battery and plug in the USB and you charge it. it uh, blinks red and when it's green then it's charged. About the flight controller, this seems to be some no-name flight controller. I cannot find it on the internet and it hasn't got micro USB input so you cannot modify it on the computer. So I don't think there will be something like Betaflight. There's just something pre-programmed and you have to use that because you have no options to change it. That's not good. The instructions tell us that this button is for changing the flight mode. So with one press I've got something like Acro with no stabilization at all. And two presses are for something like Angle so it stabilizes itself. And the second button is for Attitude mode. And I don't believe it will hold the position in the air because there's no barometer and I don't believe it. Let's power the quadcopter and see if it's bound. So we will check if it's ready to fly or not. The LED shows each of the colors, but now it's green, so it should be charged. I turned on the radio and it's bound. So it's really ready to fly. And now it's the time to check the flight. Okay, as you see, I wanted to show you some FPV footage, but uh, when I add some throttle, there's a horrible interference in the video signal, so it's not possible to fly FPV at all with this model for me. I don't know if I will be able to uh, repair that, but for now we will see just some line of sight flying.
That was my flying with uh, this model, at least line of sight flying because I'm not able to fly FPV because of the interference in the video. And about this model, it was $100, more than $100. And yeah, it comes with radio, but for $100 you totally can get much better model than this one. So for me, I would definitely not recommend you this model. Uh, it flies pretty nice. Uh, there is option for changing the flight modes, but you are not able to program it with beta flight or anything. And for me, this is not good model. So I thank you very much for watching my video. If you would like to see more reviews, please subscribe to my channel and see you next time.